Dogface or uh, yeah, yeah, your government cool. name? Dogface is chill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tribal name. Why don't you do something yeah. now then? Since you already started. Eh? Hey guys, we are here with our special guest, Dogface. Arr, arr, arr. Yeah. What's up, fool? What's up, uh, everybody, uh, man? What's up, Dogface, man? How you been, man? I'm good. I'm Break good. bread, homie. Yeah, you know they're making chilling, millions. Chilling. <laughs> forgot about that's us. That's what everybody thinks anyway. Hey, that's what everybody going. thinks. Hey, forgot about man. us, eh? Hey, Go chains. You. Shit, bro. Remember you you, 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 you fucking jacked that cranberry juice, eh? Oh, damn. Yeah. Ah, bro. How about Busting you? a little Ollie in the middle of the street, huh? Yeah, dude. You know Nobody's on a business. longboard, even. Dude, no, no more fucking kidney infections, bro. UT, UTIs. UTIs, bro. Yeah. right? UTAs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. When you, when you, like, at, at first, like. At first, like, before you go viral, or before you do anything, before you do anything, before you decide to do anything, everybody who's listening right now, just do it, man. Don't even tell your homie you're going to do it. Just do it, man. Because the first person you're going to tell goes, you're fucking fat and stupid. What are you going to do that for? <laughs> <laughs> you're 55. Give it a rest, homie. About, you dude. should be over here playing golf with me. <laughs> well, you don't play golf. You fucking pick up golf balls for a living. <laughs> well, whatever, homie. You just go out there and do it, man. Just do it. And don't worry about the hits, right, Rizzo? Because you just do it now. You got to do it, bro. Let it rip. You know 1,000 hits per view. You don't care. You just keep going. Oh, we were yeah. following you before uh, the Cranberry Juice. Yeah, bro. We dude. were following you when you were when you were dancing at your warehouse job sweeping with that big-ass push broom. Shit. Yeah, yeah man. Dude. Taking me back to those. We Hell followed yeah, you yeah. during that Green Day song. Yeah, bro. I've actually, yeah. I, actually if, um, if you watch uh, my um, my um, Chichen Chong Mexican-Americans. I took the sound from his video, and I and I played both parts. Hell yeah! Because hell you yeah. did a Mexican American at your job with a push broom. Yeah, and, and that's the first time I saw that one and another one. But when you did that one, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, this is dog face. By the way, if you're not, if you're like you know, if you just came back from from uh, you cut the early or... flight out of Tel Aviv or um, <laughs> or Lebanon or Baghdad or you just left the Middle East. And you haven't been around. Back that ass <laughs> Dog face right here. Yeah, what, what, what kind of factory was it? Because I've already just seen a factory. In all a factory potato was warehouse. A potato warehouse? Yeah, man. I, I don't know. know. Oh, bro, what you expect? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I thought there was chickens there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I was over there for 20 plus years. My dad was over there for Are like you serious, 30. dog? My dad was over there for 35 years. Mad lifers. Your dad Crazy. was still working there when you were working there? Yep, yep. Whoa, your dad still works there? No, I pulled him out of there. Oh, yeah, hell How many times you here with my papa in there, eh? Papa. Papa making papas, homie. Papa Rose. Looking at my papas with my papa. Papas, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah. I didn't know that was a Papa factory. That's crazy, huh? So you got free all potatoes those spuds, all the time? huh? Yeah, yeah, all the fucking time. So, so yeah, man. When you, when you did that chicken chong, that was perfect, man. The way you did it, it was uh, like the word, the lip sync was on point. And um, I said, well, then I saw other ones, other people started doing it after him. Yeah, you, so I'm gonna try it too. So, <laughs> so I dressed up like Chong and Cheech. <laughs> and then like a, at first it was kind of hard because I had to do um yeah it was tough to do a duet by yourself <laughs> getting my dog to messing it up you know like <laughs> passing by and it didn't look accurate <laughs> 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 we're shooting for accuracy <laughs> what's up fool what's up everybody we got um uh, Rizzo just came from um snowboarding and shit <laughs> <laughs> hitting those gaps huh dog hey bro What's up, what's up, bro? Um, you've been following the news. Are you for Israel or or for um, the Gaza Strip? The other, what are they called? Palestinians. Palestinian dog. I just don't want nobody to die. That's what I'm Well, they already did, bro. I know. People are, yeah, it sucks seeing the videos on TikTok. And you don't see that shit on the news, really. But it's just. Get out of here with that pussy ass answer, bro. 
<laughs> Take a stand, bro. Take a stand. Like Rappaport, I'm, homie. I'm just, I'm just Put being, that flag on that profile. I'm just being impartial right here, bro. I don't fucking... Uh, this fool said impartial. All right, then. Wow. <laughs> I got to say, I stand with uh, you gotta stay Sharon. With, we all know, bro. with all of them, man. We, we got to stand with the, <laughs> the Star of David, bro. The Star of David. I'm sorry, bro. But just for my career, eh? You have to, this was 3%, 3% Jewish, so. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. You did his DNA, dog face, 3% Jewish. You got to throw that little arm up, oh, huh, bro? <laughs> America, Biden got to back, everything. We're going we're gonna to do have good, Have you done bro. your DNA? No, I haven't done any of that you shit. You think natives are afraid to do their DNA and find out they're, they're not, not full-blooded? Oh, I know I'm not full-blooded. <laughs> this was Mexican, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell no, bro. Yeah. If you want to have blue eyes, you could be the executive of a casino. <laughs> he could, be, chat, chat. He could be like, he like Charles Bronson's money. relative, too, bro. <laughs> Charles Bronson, those oh, dirty yeah. sons of a bitches. Huh. Mm. <laughs> you say your 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 dad is native? No, my dad's Mexican, and my mom's native. Oh, but, okay. but it's oh. almost the same thing, really. Like native, and, I mean, it's, it that's is what I'm saying. Casino, to me, it's the same. You know, to the besides, police, Mexican. Yeah, back yeah. in the day, was all here anyway. <laughs> it's just a it's just a colonial border, bro. Well, this exactly. one gets a check, probably. We don't. Yeah, yeah. My check's only twenty five dollars. <laughs> so yeah, how much? Twenty five. Reparations? But it, it, it's different. You know what I mean? Different tribes get paid different. And then some tribes don't get shit. You know what I mean? And then it depends on this. Look, talk about my people. People, my papa goes like that. <laughs> depends on where you're at. Hell yeah. Like if you're the making land, money, like no, what's the, the land, land producing? Exactly, all, yeah, exactly. yeah. If you yeah. If you got hooked up with a good, you know, reserve with a lot of freaking stuff that you can put out there. Commercial wise or whatever, then yeah, twenty five bucks a month. That's just one buffalo, huh? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> buffalo wings, bro. Fuck it. <laughs> Then so, the casinos and stuff like that too. That just goes back out into the no, that's right. into the that's right. community and stuff like that as well. You know what I mean? And then there is. Do they some get checks or do well. they go? No, we fish the street. And then yeah, some of them just snake <laughs> it away. Got too, water you know what I mean? No, okay. that's true though, dog. I'm trying to figure out that. how they pay, how they pay off that money because when we were in um, Saginaw, Michigan, the, the 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 guy that was driving us, he was telling us that the money is spread by three people in that tribe because it's a Dang. smaller tribe. So they get paid fat. Yeah, yeah. There's this one tribe. I don't know where it's at, but they get paid, I heard, a million a year. What? Yeah, and I don't, I don't even know where it's at. I can't even remember, but yeah. I know it's on the East Coast, though. They ain't telling nobody, huh? Damn, dude. I'm pretty sure they spread it out to all the natives evenly, bro. Uh, you got the right thing. Just in their tribes, they do, though. You know what I mean? But yeah, they should, like you said, spread it evenly, evenly amongst all natives. But there's some tribes that are deep, deep, deep in Montana, bro. Like there's black some water. Tribes, there's some tribes out there that ain't even got running water. You know what I mean? So that's that's fucking shitty as hell. Yeah, the tribe know? of Flint, Michigan. God damn, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Not even the towns get right, good water on. Huh? Oh hell no. For real, the the in in, in um in Flint, Michigan, like the water when you first turn on in the morning, it comes out like root beer in the morning. You gotta, you gotta wait an hour, bro. You start oh. looking like horchata, then it turns into regular water. Put some ice cream. <laughs> you need there, some bro. vanilla, huh? Some vanilla. <laughs> hey, that shit, dude. bro. You call a fireman in Flint, Michigan. They tell you, man, nah, man, y'all, it's good. They don't even go. <laughs> it tastes like iron, bro. That's oh, funny, bro. We forgot about food. Flint, Michigan, bro. That's good. They're fucked up ass water. Yeah, man. What's up, fool? How you been, dog face? I've been good, man. How many Just... people have been knocking on your door, man? I'm talking about my daughter's sick and we need a new iron. <laughs> <laughs> we need some of that iron that the guy was drinking out there and shit. No, it's cool. You know what? I don't get bugged by a lot of people on the DMs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But yeah, there is always... There is always something out there. You know what I mean? And it's just insane. But yeah, I've just, just been out here traveling around, doing some things, meeting some people, doing meet and greets. I, I do music now and stuff, stepping in acting as well. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, dog. And yeah, just putting myself out there, riding that wave still, you know, and just, fuck it's yeah, bad dude. as fuck. We I'm saw you on Res Dogs, season two. Hell yeah. Shout out Res Dogs, everybody. That's, that that was so dogs. badass. You that know was when that guy was working with his uncle or stepfather. On the roof, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Was that his father or step? Or his uncle. Uh, kind of that like was his, his uncle, I think. His uncle, yeah. Yeah. That guy's a good actor, bro. He's been in a lot of stuff. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hold that light, bro. Did you get the lines in one take or did they give you a yeah, bunch Yeah, it blew of, my mind, play? you know what I mean? Because I always wanted to act, you know what I mean? Growing up watching and living color and stuff like that, you know, just making people laugh and stuff. It always just something I wanted to do. Nothing I really tried to do, I guess, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's always something I wanted to do. And going up there, like I said, just seeing them say action, seeing all the people around us. Doing the lines over and over, you know what I mean? It just blew my mind. It was badass. But, yeah, I, I got my lines pretty good, you know what I mean? And 
I didn't fuck up too much. So yeah, it was badass. You know, I got, I delivered. You know what I mean? Was it easy for you? Did you have like an acting coach or anything, or you just went no, up there like? No, and then everybody raw. said, you know, that it looked like I've been doing this for quite some time and stuff like that. But then yeah, yeah so that was badass. Took that as a compliment. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I did my best. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, I did audition. I, I didn't get the first part in the first season. Oh, you auditioned? Oh, so yeah. since the first so, one, yeah, I thought they so just I, gave it to you, no, bro, because so you're dog face. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I so thought I this one just got for season two and then got that part. So hell yeah. Yeah, Shout out man. Sterling and all them, yo. That's badass. What'd you audition for on the first season? It was for the pumpkin for the dad. Are you serious? Yeah, pumpkin listing or the guy, the rapper guy or whatever. Yeah, all yeah. The Shout out Stan Jotty too. Dude. Yep, him. He had, he had like the Indian bread song that went viral. Yeah, fried bread. Yeah, fried bread. Fried bread. Yeah, fried bread. Fried yeah. Bread. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. It was badass. Damn, dude, that's fucking cool, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, you ever hear something hilarious? What's that for? Cause um I've been oh my god I've been um I've been in a you know you watch a bunch of shows, and you're like alone by your after everybody fell asleep, you're alone with a dog, <laughs> and he's in the in the crate nothing to watch, fool I watched look it up Philip, the Office Hindu. Oh there is a <laughs> there... oh my god dog it is hilarious dog. total like, different I actors you had a, I wish I knew course, had a, yeah, yeah. I wish I knew how to speak Hindu. <laughs> I know I'm missing a lot of jokes there, because they they do a, a episode of the ones where, the the one where um when um when you're from fucking um you're from Bing, you're from um very good very good song. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah diversity yeah, day the, the, the cookie yeah yeah the, the diversity day right <laughs> so they had a diversity day there oh my god bro I didn't know how how racist Northern Indians are to <laughs> to Bengali Indians god, so they full brought all those different types of hats. For um, for um, Indian people, right? And one guy had like a, the Bengali hat, you know. That's like fucking um, the, the little Indian fool from Jungle Book. He's Bengali, Mowgli, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, there was another, there was another fool, Indian, bro. Huh? There was another fool. I, I don't know all these nationalities from India, right? I didn't, I didn't know. It's I didn't know a, all yeah. of them, right? But then a, a dude came in with a that was, that was Sikh, and he was delivering something. Oh, you're wearing your hat. Come on in. And then somebody tell him oh, he wears a hat as his religion. Oh, even better, come on in. <laughs> so this fool, so there's a there's a Chinese guy on the show. I thought he was Chinese, but that fool from like some part of India, Nepal or somewhere, right? Some India nation, right? So he keeps telling him, where were you from? where were you born, Dubai, and then where your parents for in Dubai. So in the episode, he's doing do 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 one day, give me do 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 ruby, do 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 ruby, oh ruby, my wife. My sister is present to my mom is present to my my my, my little my daughter gonna be present to fool that fool punched him in the face. <laughs> fool, he was bagging on him in a way that you like, like in a class way, you know, like because like, I guess his that nationality supposedly, if you're a plumber, your dad's gonna be a plumber, you're gonna be a plumber. You never, you no one can get out of being a fucking plumber. The caste yeah. system. Like if yeah. your wife was a like if your family you, you grew up in a. Prostitute family, your mom can always gonna be a prostitute. All your sisters always gonna be prostitutes. No matter what. So that fool was throwing that shit at him, bro. Just throwing shade. But I didn't know, man. Like fuck, I guess everybody got their own way of being racist to each other. It's fuck everywhere, man. dude. Yeah, I got that yeah. in the natives, bro. Where, hey, fuck your oh, Cherokee. Fuck, yeah, there's there's hate everywhere. Yeah, Cherokees get it the worst, especially. Why is that? And Cheyennes, because right? Everybody's. Claims everybody's it. Got, yeah, everybody claims it. Everybody's got a grandma that was a Cherokee princess. You know what I mean? It's like, shit. It's like, we've heard that. So it's like real natives when they hear that. You know what I mean? You, you, they get that side eye from us. You know what I mean? That's funny you say that because I, I, I know now I'm native um, comedians. And they always tell you, I have to do this bougie Cherokee show, man. <laughs> <laughs> there is Cherokees out there, too, though. Real Cherokee Nation shit like that. Shout out to them, too. You know what I mean? But, yeah. The, everybody and especially you know Caucasians, they're the yeah. ones that claim it. So, five A's, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. Five A's. <laughs> he said it. A five A's for life. <laughs> a little Chippewa. <laughs> hey, fucking A. That's hilarious, dude. Yeah, cause uh, um, I know that like, bro, like I grew up with friends that were native, and they were mean to each other in their own way. Like that, I got that fool. Like one of them was like he had a lot of acne, and the other one didn't. Oh man, he believed my bathroom all oily and shit. <laughs> Like a that, like, what the fuck, one. huh? Yeah, greasy name. Yeah, I got that one, huh? <laughs> yeah, Whoa, yeah. I didn't get it, bro. Because you know, like, because you know, because him and I were like the same color, <laughs> but I had no pimples. But I don't know what he was talking about me too, you know. <laughs> but yeah, he would keep saying that, and then like, um, they were they were something something a tribe, 
And they were make, they were making fun of that dude because he was hoppy. Yeah. If you don't make if you don't if a native doesn't make fun of you, they don't like you. you know what yeah. I mean? If they if they're sitting there and just if they're not making fun of you, then you got something to worry about. You know oh I mean? shit, shit jazz. Yeah. So yeah, if they tease you, that's that's what natives do. You know they tease a lot. So fuck yeah, you get it from everybody, aunties, uncles. It's fucked up sometimes. Yeah, they man. They said some harsh ass shit. I, I don't too. know. Shit ass was like a big native uh, word. It got it got big because of reservation dogs. You know shit what I mean? Ass. This was honestly my first time hearing it. You know what I mean? But yeah. Shit ass got very popular from reservation. Yeah, bro, like watching Reservoir Dog, I didn't know that backstrap or backstrip was good. I didn't know that shit either, and I'm native, you know what I, I mean? know, right? Those Never fucking, had backstrap? No, Those no, kids found that fucking deer yeah. in the ground and oh, ripped damn. it back on and cooked at it. <laughs> fucking A, with yeah, the town man. on it and shit. The only yeah. thing I believe that a lot of that show, that, that, that show showed that was that show that's real, that the white people were more proud to, for the little native than the real native thing. <laughs> Like fucking like like those two guys that work by that by that fucking abandoned bus. Oh yeah, yeah. That comedian from the comedy store. Mike oh, that's Fox. fucking uh, Kurt exactly. Fox. Yeah. Kurt Fox. Kurt Fox. My bad. Rick Fox, the Laker. Sorry, Kurt. Sorry, Kurt. <laughs> so, so like gr- you know, growing up, you know, you know, especially like in this, you know, the political climate, how it is. People always say, you know, it's like Native <laughs> American, Indigenous. You can't say the word Indian, but like it's like. A lot of Native Americans. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah. Like, I see a There's lot of woke in, native now. Yeah, it's it's Native American, you know what I mean? Or natives, you know, it's Indians, not the way to say it. I was following a, 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 a native guy that was, um he, that was, um he was, um he would open up, he was like, a, he was in shape, bro, like buff. He would wake up late in the morning, hey, colonizer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, colonizer. Oh, my God. And he started arguing guy. with everybody, oh bro. Oh, my God. I know who you're talking about. He started about, arguing bro. with people, right? Yeah. And then later on, bro, like, but he is actually 100% native, right, hardcore. But, man, he ended up being like a player, too, man. And, and I guess some, some side chick problem came along. Damn, dude. Lisa, like, Lisa goes, <laughs> my wife probably says, what do you have time to learn all this shit? He's <laughs> colonizing <laughs> something else, Hey, huh? man, but it was a tough pandemic, man. This guy was right? out there yeah, putting yeah, it out there, yeah. bro. Putting it. You in fucking there too, knew. You, I That's, didn't. That that was the fucking that was that meme that or whatever boy? that was going around. Is that homeboy right there? I think his name was Modern Warrior. Or some Modern shit. Warrior. Yeah. Modern Warrior, dude. Modern Warrior. Yeah. Caught up That's in the him right there. That's the homeboy right there. Hey, colonizers. Like he was racist against natives that were half. Half. I mean, totally like half. Just really? Just he was a he purist? Was, yeah, just because he was hardcore, bro. Like, yeah, talking mad So he, he did his DNA testing. I guess. I don't know if he did. If I don't know if he went that far either, but he maybe he should. Shit. Bro, and then I was following this other guy. <laughs> this other, oh, my God, dog. Like, this... Um, I guess a lot of um, native... Com- a lot of um, native TikToks were popular. And um, man, hilarious, bro! Like, I didn't know this, right? And I and I used that word in my in my in my joke when I did a show in um, New Mexico, aunties. Oh hell yeah! Because the uh, there was a native guy from he from Black he from Montana somewhere. He goes, "Hey, you you got," but he fakes the voice. You got, hey, you guys better bring your wives. There's a lot of thirsty aunties out there. <laughs> <laughs> then it hit the homie up with him. Get the fuck out of here. Right? <laughs> then he goes. Then he goes like this. He goes. Another he goes. Man, a lot of you natives forgot your roots. You know, you forgot to eat from the earth and forgot what what brought you here. Then he goes. Hold on a minute. Oh yeah, I will take two um two no. burgers with extra cheese, please. <laughs> and then um <laughs> buffalo burgers, huh? <laughs> Hilarious that fucking dude, bro. And I think that I seen those uh, little videos. He's getting over there, uh, you know, next to the powwows when it's going down. Right? Oh my god, bro! That oh, makes me ne- that makes me never want to go to a powwow, bro. Big. Because <laughs> I always wanted to go, right? But now he goes, "Hey, we got here to the powwow one hour, right? We're in the back of the line." And then two hours, we see the gate. It's like a festival, <laughs> dude. Hey, the powwow. It's badass. Then he goes three go. hours. Go we're, we're 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 almost there. <laughs> Four hours, we're here. <laughs> they got corn dog all sad. <laughs> but um, I did a well, me and um this other Bush Escobar. We do a a podcast called History for Fools. We did like a little segment on Native American stand up comedians, like Mark Jaffe and Greg Von Eagle Bear and the the comedy sketch group. He's the guy that goes ha ah, ah, ha from um Res Dogs. He was in a comedy sketch called 1941. 
You know the guy with the, the, the horse in oh, Red Dogs? Know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, a the spirit. That's funny, yeah. man. Up. That guy's spiritual warrior is a warrior who died, not in battle, but on the way to battle. Yeah, yeah. Dallas that's, go to. that's what's funny about yeah. The troop is called 1491. 1491. What am I saying? 1941. That's World War Two. Yeah, World War One. That's another troop. Well, it's 1491. The year before the age of exploration. Yeah, 1491. Yeah, 1491. Hilarious, dude. Uh, uh, Pre-Columbian. I was gonna ask you. So like like like. like Native Americans from Northern America, um, you know, when they see like, you know, Native Americans from, you know, like Mexico, Canada. Do, do they kind of like see it kind of like, like the same or is it just like a little different, There's different tribes? They claim different because they're Aztec, Aztec you know what I mean? Yeah. And then we're Northern American, whatever, Northern tribes or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. It's just basically different tribes. You know what different, I mean? Different tribes. And yeah. then, uh, uh, but still uh, considered native. And Canada, First Nation. Yeah, they call themselves First Nation for all the tribes. Nations, that's come with I the believe, Inuit, so that's what they call themselves or whatever. But yeah, First Nations out there, Canada's dope, man. They got a lot of love out. I got a lot of love out there. I went freaking to Musco Cheese Reservation, and yeah, it's just insane. Like I said, there's a badass fucking scene out there. How was it in Canada, that area? Beautiful, it was cool, man. Like I said, I got to smell the air. It smells different than American air. You know what I mean? The food tastes a little bit. Really? Cleaner as well, and yeah, the pop doesn't. You know, there's not that much sugar in it. What it's is that? Is that in Yellowknife or they use, they must ingredients, use sugar, bro? They must yeah. re- use real sugar for the soda because over here we use uh, Mexico style corn syrup. Yeah, we use a lot of shit, but yeah, it it tastes different. But yeah, it, it's just healthier and it just feels fucking awesome. Man. All the preservatives we have down here, make that shit last all year. So, bro. how many times have you gotten COVID? Oh damn, man! <laughs> I got COVID fucking. Five times? We're supposed to hang out with you, bro. And you got COVID. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> fuck, man. In Idaho, the last two two years ago. Two yeah, ye- three years ago. Two years ago. Oh, it was a long time ago, dude. I thought I was going to die a couple times, man. Yeah. yeah. Were you vaccinated or not vaccinated? I wasn't vaccinated. No? no? That was the first time. Have you, you ever got, got vaccinated? Or you for, finally got for vaccinated. Res dogs, right? For res dogs, right? For res dogs. Yeah. Yep. For res dogs, I got vaxxed. So I've, I fought it all the way to the end until res dogs. You know what I mean? But I... Oh damn! You honestly thought you were gonna die though? Was that bad? Not really, but I, I fucking didn't feel, felt like it. I was just laying there. You know what I mean? I just and then somebody come down because I'd lock myself down to the basement. I'd do my fourteen days down there. You know, wifey would come down, give me soup and all that stuff. I'd be you all cuddled it up and. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I just stayed hot, man, and I did. I put my head over the the pot, did all that shit, all that scientist stuff to get cleared up. Oh yeah, and then sat there for twenty minutes, so that just. Steaming up on my face, wow. boogers coming out my freaking nose, everything, man. It was crazy. But yeah, five times, dude. And then it was, yeah, we're finally. Suppo- we're supposed to hang out with you, I think, December of 2020. And I think that's when you got sick out there. We found some good Mexican food out there. Oh, hell yeah. Some that, that, was in, tacos. that was out there in Idaho. Idaho, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. Man, yeah. That damn COVID shit fucked with me. And a lot of shit. Five times. Cause I know, like when we saw you, we that we we're about to hang out. Remember, you were, I think you, that was your first time in LA, and you were all over the place, Damn. and then that's where you caught it. Yep, yep. Cause you went I to one of those private smoke stash. I caught that shit. Yeah, you, you were in Vegas the day before, or the day everybody. after. Or something. Yeah, you went to a private yeah. smoke stash. I remember you were in a room. I don't know if it was Bash was there, but um, I think that boxer was there too. That boxer, that the heavyweight champion, maybe. I can't remember. But there was like Andy a room. Reese? There was smoke everywhere, bro. Fucking days. Hell yeah. I can't remember. But you had a hang out during those times. That's when the shit was popping the fuck yeah, off, huh? Dude. It's like, what are you going to do, bro? Not kick it? Exactly. You know what I mean? And then going around <laughs> everybody, and then people were not caring. They were. Who then, gives a fuck? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was like catching it all on my face. I was like, oh. You man. cut the vapors, bro. I was like, I'm going home with this COVID shit. Oh, I know shit. I am, man. And it's this is that strong up. COVID out here, bro. Like. Eight strains all combined. <laughs> yeah, Tell me Omnicron about it. and what the Delta. Yeah, what else uh, was there? Oh okay. my god, the Hoochie variant, bro. There's a whole bunch of them. Dude. Did you get to meet um the whole band of Fleetwood Mac? No, and I only got to meet uh Mick Fleetwood over Zoom, oh, and so. then on my birthday he actually freaking called me and gave me happy birthday wishes and shit on. Of FaceTime and shit. Oh, badass. like, thanks for reviving our career. <laughs> you made them big again, bro. Tell me about it, man. Tell me about it. It's insane to be even be a part of that. You know what I That's mean? That's crazy, man. Like, they're wild, bro. Hell like, yeah. one, one, the, 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 the Italian one, somebody must have told them, right? I'm pretty sure they're not on TikTok. Oh, Who told fuck. them that, um, hey, man, they're, your album sales is coming up again. I, there's a ball guy on the skateboard playing the song and everybody's looking at it. 
I swear she was Stevie Nicks was pissed because I used her song and everything. You know what I mean? Cause, what? And everything because I I felt like they were gonna she was gonna sue me or something. But then like you said, TikTok and everybody was like, hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's see what we're doing with this because he's making you guys a lot of money. We're making a lot of money. Huh. They did. There's this thing on YouTube. But you, there's a video where you, Ocean Spray, TikTok, and Fleetwood Mac, somebody from Fleetwood Mac or whatever, are all sitting in a thing talking about the video and how much or yeah, what they the did Genesis, with it. What the fuck you know happened? what I mean? And damn. Yeah. I was on a World Series commercial, and I didn't make a dime off it. You know what I mean? Are you oh, serious? I saw that what one. Oh, shit. Or what? I yeah. saw that video. I thought, I thought you got paid for that. Why'd you no. get paid, dude? TikTok and the only Fleetwood video. Mac, and yeah, they they all did something before. Like I said, I don't know what the hell it was, but you know what I mean? They they copped that money off of me. And, Damn. But like I said, I got I got used for the video. I got stuff, you know, from it so that I, you know, I can't really complain, I guess, because, you know, it did get me out there and everything. Yeah. They still could have sued me, I guess, or something, you know what I mean? But yeah, why would they when she, you know, copped all that stuff off, you know what I mean? And everything like that. And it's just craziness, you know. But seeing yeah. the dollars are like, it's cool, huh? Shout Beer out to Freedom, man. Shout out yeah. to TikTok and everybody. Oh, it's just free, especially, you know what I mean? But it's badass, you know what I mean? It's crazy, though. It's promotion wise, though. That's crazy. Did you have a backup song besides the Fleetwood no, Mac song? No, no. Was, that was one take. But the song a, was on the on TikTok Music already, right? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Y- you were feeling that song that day. You were just like, this is a song. I like, was walking, like I said, and then I was freaking looking at my favorite song or my favorite list because I saved uh, sounds for later. Yeah. And I went, scrolled through like maybe two or three, and then it was right there. I just played it. I heard the jam, and I had my board <laughs> with me, and I was walking, just barely coming down when the off-ramp was going down. So I was like, yo. I just seen it in my head, spoke to me real quick. I was like, let's do this real quick. And then, yeah, it was one take because I got halfway down and I was speeding up too fast. I couldn't slow down. So I was like, fuck, when I got down to the bottom, I looked up at that hill. I was like, man, my fat ass ain't going going back up there to do this shit again. So I just fucking turned around, went back to work and fucking got it going. (laughs) When did you notice it was going viral? (coughs) That day? I had videos like this go viral before. You know what I mean? I did a Bone Thugs one before it hit 200,000, whatever, quick. But the thing that got me going was because when I went to work, came out after an hour break, and then it was at like I think a hundred thousand views, and I was like, "Damn, that was only damn hours. That was quick." And I was dude. like, "Shit!" And then went back to freaking work, came out at lunch, and it was at four hundred. And I was like, "Yo!" I was like, "What the hell?" And I told him, uh, my lady at the time, "I'm leaving you." I was like, <laughs> yeah, "Fuck it, you dude. and these potatoes." Hey, dude. I told her, man. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, this might hit a million, you know, today. You know, it usually yeah. takes a couple of days to hit a million, but yeah, that fucking sucker hit." A million in seven hours, I believe. Damn! And that then after that, it was just going crazy. That was over, yeah, dude. That fast rhythm. After that's that, fast, it was yeah. going crazy. I've, I've hit like a million, like in like a, like a year, probably like a, a couple of days, but not like fucking. <laughs> yeah, it usually know, takes a couple day. days. Even people that are that are trending, it or does whatever, take a, like it that. takes a day, huh? Yeah, even yeah. If, even if you're going yeah. viral that that moment, the next million. When, when, when how long does it take for the next million? Oh, it was instant after that. Like I said, it just kept blowing up after that. I think I hit, I think it was seven or nine million in the day. Damn, Damn, that's a lot, bro. Yeah, I can't that's really remember rip, what it was, bro. but it was it was seven or nine million. But then, like I said, just getting my mom telling me, "Yo, what are you putting your videos on Facebook for?" And I'm like, "I don't put my videos on Facebook. It's TikTok, you know, blah blah blah." Oh, so it was on Facebook now. People were just sharing it sharing everywhere, it, yeah. and then yeah. she's like, "Well, everybody keeps texting me and telling me, you know, what your son doing, and this, 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 this." <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, I don't know what's going on, mom. You know, <laughs> I went to work the next day, everything like normal. I didn't know what the hell, you know." What did you see it the same day? I, I don't know what I saw, but I remember just like, it was just a whole phenomenon, bro. It was like on every fucking social media, bro, every platform. Yeah. I think Instagram. I saw it the same day too because I was following them already. Yeah, I was already following you, so like I saw it. But yeah, I there was a couple of videos I seen from you that were already kind of viral. A couple then I saw million parodies. I saw par. I, I mean, I did a parody. Oh, too, yeah, man. there is. But that one kept though. on growing. I went on stage like that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Utah, because it was just the, the, the video just blowing up. And I went up on stage with the same song, drinking oh, hell cranberry yeah. juice. Hell yeah. And I told the audience, I want a truck, too. That's bad. <laughs> and they laughed. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. That I blew said, my mind when they came up with that truck. Then I too. said, man, everybody over here thought that, everybody th- did everybody think the same thing I was thinking? <laughs> I hear this cholo on parole, <laughs> about to check, to, p- to take a piss test, so he's drinking cranberry juice to clean his <laughs> blood. <laughs> Make sure I clean my system out. <laughs> Oh shit, that's funny. Yeah, people were laughing, man. But there was a, there were some morons. I don't get it, eh? What, I don't get it. You eh? don't have you don't have a phone. You don't get, get it, bro. You, you, have, you have a fucking Instagram um, page for fucking five years with no posts and no followers. You get it, homie. Oh fuck yeah. yeah. 
you're probably a relative who made that page today. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, who was like the first person to contact you, like out of like that? From like Mr. Industry. TikTok. It was my uh, management, you know. Now Gina Rodriguez, shout out Gina. She freaking hit me up. I think it was a day or two, you know. And I was like, dude, I don't need no manager. I don't know what she's talking. <laughs> about. You know, you know. Yeah, I was either. like, what the hell? I was going back to work, doing my eight hour, nine hour shifts. You know what I mean? And then. She kept hitting me up, kept hitting me up, and she's like, let me get you this, let me get you this, you know, uh, verified or whatever on TikTok, verified on Facebook, which I didn't even know was a thing. And then I started seeing it, you know, and so I was like, cool, cool, you know, so maybe she could do something for me. Let's let's see what she can do. And she freaking set me up with interview after interview after interview. And wow. that's what kind of got me out there. And then after that, that's when I came to L.A., got COVID. And then, yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know yeah the whole package. Huh? Did, did, um, did you do the interview? Did she get you an interview in your hometown first, or it was? Else? It was basically yeah. The the hometown thing kind of happened real quick. You know, they had people coming over to do interviews face to face, and then after that, the zooms. Man, holy shit! Oh, All man. day probably, huh? Fucking but like, yeah. Seriously, five a.m. to like. Maybe really nine in the afternoon or in the, in the night, but then every hour, dude, like from everywhere. You didn't even time to smoke a bowl, huh? Oh man, it was crazy. Well, oh, that that's that's insane, man. Because you did more press than a, a person would do for a movie. Because Fuck, for a yeah. movie, they they sent you in to whatever, right? I I've done um I done when I went last time standing, I was doing um. Interview from five in the morning till ten God, to man. catch everybody from the East Coast. So you're getting up early. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> fuck yeah! Four three. Yeah, yeah. Catch them freaking like you said the East Coast on their time and stuff. So you're gonna catch them at three in the morning because they get like, up at six. It was usually about Damn. four. I think the earliest I woke up was four to do and, one. And it's funny, man, because they're all, "Hey there, man, <laughs> dog face. <laughs> How you doing today, man? Oh man, uh -huh. sensation." Uh -huh. You're like, yeah, let me get this going. Alive, huh? At 6 a.m. <laughs> Rowdy and shit. Yeah. Was what? your oh sorry. What? What? Was your job under, understanding about you, you know, taking time off? Yeah, you know what I mean? I was I just kind of went up there and I told him, hey, I got this lady in management telling me to do some things. Let me take, you know, a week or so off. And if it if it works out, then good. I'll come back. You know, and if it works out, I won't be back. But you know, you don't want to fuck with these potatoes no more. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love potatoes, man, all day. But yeah, and after that, I just bounced. And then, like I said, the last time I went back was to get my dad and take him out. You know, tell him, let's go, man. Fucking, you know, you need to retire already. Let's go, fucking do this shit. Hell yeah, bro. It's badass. Did, did you get? Did they give you a truck? They gave me a truck, man, and zero miles on it. First time I've ever seen anything like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have. New, new? It was insane. New, new. New, right? Went, <laughs> oh, man. Filled up with ocean spray. It was fucking, it was badass, man. I was like, well, Where were you living at when this all happened? In a freaking trailer in front of my brother's house and shit. And wow. I was homeless before that. I was living in front of a, I was living in a tent on the river for like two months Whoa. before that. Just you like me, bro. Fucking <laughs> age, man. <laughs> right there getting ready to do some mountain mics. <laughs> it Fishing, bro. I don't know. It was just cool, man. You know what I mean? I was happy. I was doing my videos, freaking out there by the river. To me, it was like camping because I wasn't homeless, homeless. I was working still. So I'd go to work, come back, sleep at the river. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, it was just fucking just repeated that for two months until I got on my feet and got a trailer. And then, you know what I mean? Stayed at Walmart for a good minute. And then my brother's like, hey, get your shit over here. Plug it in. <laughs> I was like, cool. That's what's up. You said it was your daughter who helped you or told you to get on TikTok? Yeah, my youngest daughter, Michaela, she freaking encouraged me to do TikToks with... No, I started doing TikToks with her. Yeah. And then after a while, she's like, okay, well, you're flooding my page up with you. You know what I mean? So like, she's like, well, make you one, and then you can do videos on yourself. I was like, all right, cool, but I'm not going to make it. I was like, you have to make it for me, tell me everything, and then, yeah, I'll go from there. And then, yep. And then after that, I went viral for doing this get-up dance, a little country dance or whatever. Got 163,000 followers from that. Damn. And then that's when I was getting ready to quit because I was like, I went viral. Did something that, you know, my daughter said I wouldn't do. And then they're like, well, you shouldn't quit. You know, my oldest was like, you shouldn't quit. Just keep doing what you're doing. This is Make only the smile. beginning. Hell yeah. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's do it. You know, and lost my account because I started slanging merch. And I started really? slanging merch with, Bud, <laughs> with Bud Leaf on it. And oh, TikTok's no. like, hell But that's no. what it was, the oh, Bud Leaf, right? Man. Exactly. And TikTok's Attached like, boom. Weed. They fucking banned my account. I was like, oh, TikTok is strict as fuck. Hell dude. yeah. And then got another account and then built that one up slowly up to freaking 700 and 
I think it was 750,000 followers before the viral video. Yeah, yeah. That's then good. the viral video hit, and then that's another thing that helped me because I had all those following to help push it out there too. So yeah. it was fucking, yeah. You already had an audience. So oh, hell yeah. What are you at now on TikTok? 7.6 million. And on Instagram? 2.4. That's good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn, bro. Instagram's fucking tough. You know yeah, what I mean? Strict, but bro. fucking, yeah, numbers are still climbing on TikTok. So, like, you know what I mean? TikTok's the number one app out there you know what i mean so fuck yeah that's what's up so and they start paying you once you reach a million followers tiktok don't really pay that much but it's all through yeah. brand deals those man. lives and shit yeah brand deals and then the lives if you go live, live on tiktok you they make money on tiktok yeah right? but tiktok's not paying you no no it's the people it's are, the right? people yeah yeah, yeah. tiktok yeah. takes a big percentage of that too Holy i didn't shit. know that how much I, I i've heard it's 75 percent of it of what you made. What the fuck, that's dude? what i've heard but i'm not See. sure you know what i mean really that's just word of mouth so they took they took four two hundred dollars from me because on one time i checked i had a hundred ninety eight dollars <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you made if you make that on live you, you then your live really made you know i mean whatever 75 percent more of that is and then they took that and paid you your I'm gonna percentage. Just, I'm gonna just go on TikTok live and watch people s- s- <laughs> watch me sleep and fart all night for eight hours. <laughs> Can't come with like a virtual cup. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Damn, bro, that how, much. How, how does uh, I see you on TikTok live, and you're like versus somebody? What what is that? That's the battles. That's something to encourage people to give gifts, encourage people to you know what I mean, help your famous creator win against people. Out in the TikTok world, you know what I mean. But how do you do that? You just talk. Yeah, basically they just request you. Are you request and they, them? And they go that right. They tap. And then boom, yeah, everybody goes crazy. They start sending you shit. Some battles go crazy. If you're in the daily rankings games, like people get into, you can make like Island bank, Boys. You know what I mean? Island Boys. I see the Island Boys all the time battling, bro. Hey, oh hell yeah, fucking look, yeah. I, I I battled them once too, and I won. So hell yeah. Are you serious? Like, yeah. I'm glad you did, dude. That's what's are, up. Guys are weird, bro. They kiss right? each other, man. Tell all right, them, man. Tell if you, them. If, yeah, if you guys see me hold my cup, that means I don't like that person. I'm battling. <laughs> I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The battles is where it's at, though. That's where people make a lot of a lot of most of most of the money. You know what I mean? Oh shit, dude. Yeah, it's insane. And on Instagram, after a million, they, they stop paying you? They don't pay no more. Pay That's no it. More. That's it. I was just saying, I haven't. It used to be real? five. Shit. It used yeah. to be, TikTok. if you get a, a million views, or I don't know how many million views, they give you five grand. Yeah. Which is nothing. And But, man, I don't know, man. They're, they're strict rules. Super strict. Oh, yeah. I'm shut I'm right now. Oh, man. What's up, everybody? Free, free Felipe. Thank you for the, for the hashtag Concrete Live. I was trying to go live with him this morning, and I, I couldn't go live. And I found out that I'm banned, bro. I'm going live. Dang. For Forever or for more, a little bit? 17 oh. more days. Damn. For resharing that video that had a million views, so they were going to take me down instead. <laughs> so <laughs> Not when, the originator. When huh? Concrete posted that, uh, I got messages, like three messages. Hey, why did Felipe get arrested for? Like, what the fuck? Dude? Arrested. <laughs> <laughs> and I was doing my research. I was like, you know, what the In the is? net, dude. I guess people confuse uh, Instagram Joe for real Joe. Dumbass people. <laughs> got napped. <laughs> yeah, <right>. dude. <laughs> dude what, what, what do you do? I'm like, what would he do? Like, <laughs> What's up, fool? Shout out to everybody that came to the show at the Peacock Live. 5,600 people. Thank you, man. Damn. Damn. We had um, man, was so much fun. Um, J. Crew from The Morning Show. Um, the 2.3, the afternoon show. J. Crew showed up. Um, Alex and Steve's from Louis the 13 and Mark. Come my on, brother man. Albert and all his wives and kids showed up. <laughs> and Dana and Michelle's husband were there. Shout out to him. What's his name? Motherfucking Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't remember. No. Hey, bro. <laughs> Dante <laughs> Elefante. Dante Elefante, man. That fool killed it, man. Hell yeah, that fool's bad, dude. He went into the audience. He rolled himself back in like a wrestler. It was awesome. <laughs> also, uh, Pat, um, Debra. Jo- jo- the Giovanni killed it. And uh, Rodrigo. Ken Flores. Me! Concrete. Also to Senna for bringing that bomb ass garnita vegan food. Oh my god, that's so delicious. Vegan Senna, right? Yeah. Also Lisa as far as I'm sh- and um Shally taking care of the long winded guest list. 
Bro, we had like 68 people, bro, that wanted to get in free. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm never doing no show in LA ever again. <laughs> no, 80 people got in free. 80 people got in free, 60 bro. 60 people were back. 60 were supposed oh, to be back. Oh, damn. There was a party back there, dude. Shit, yeah. Rizzo, you need you to be 82. Yeah, I was almost there. Last time was crazy when uh, Russell Peters was DJing, bro. No, that was at the Novo, bro. Smaller room. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is like, it's, yeah, it's, it's big, like, dog. Like, like it's I, I didn't I never done I done big shows but that was a big show bro because like I was I, I got to park where the fucking warehouse is bro where they bring in the loading docks, so then I went into security right behind the stage and dude. once I got into security everything was big food tour posters like the elevator the, like if you were watching a Laker game you saw it was big all wrapped food. dude. You Hell saw yeah. a big food tour. That's what's up. And they had a big food thing. They gave me these va- these vans that were like um, black vans, but the, the the feet were big feet. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, man. And dude, I was so tired, man. I went home, bro. Took out my shoes. Hit a fat ass bowl. And I ate a big ass bowl of fideo, bro, with mayonnaise on it. Damn, dude. <laughs> like a G. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Doug Faith, little brother? <laughs> <laughs> Doug, baby feet. Hey, we got shout out Ifu. Ifu, what's <laughs> up, see, bro? Yeah. What's up, Phil? <laughs> we, were, we were fucking, him and I, bro, we were doing devilish shit in another time, bro. In my alternate world, bro, him and I are like Jesse James and his brothers. <laughs> yeah. like the Sand- Sundance kid, huh? <laughs> he's, a two that talk, he's, he's that homie that will walk up to me and go, Felipe, what are you doing right now? Nothing. Okay, give me a ride. And then we're, we're, we're getting away from somewhere. <laughs> Here, hold this. Give it to me later. On a mission, huh? <laughs> Keep this in your house. Don't look at it. I bought a tattoo machine. Let me try it on your arm. Give <laughs> me three dots, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <That> was- <laughs> hey, bro, look like one of those kids that would tell another kid, "Hey, bro, here's the razor, here's the razor. We're gonna be, we're gonna scratch each other's arm. Whoever stops is gay." God <laughs> damn! Back in the eraser burns. Eraser burns. Yep. Yeah. Bro, brother, did you grow up in a real good neighborhood? Of course, or not? Of course I not. But try to park here. You know what I mean? All right. I grew, I grew up in a projects, bro. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. You have an alarm. We have no alarm. For our house, <laughs> Fuck we it just man. locked it. But uh, there was no basketball courts where I grew up, bro. Like, like if you want to play basketball, you gotta walk through three enemies to get to that park. But or like your brother was saying, you got made your own basketball courts out of um. We used to make them out of the out of the fucking milk carts. Yeah, yeah, hell really? yeah. Really? When I was, when I was talking to your brother outside, Ifu, I re- it reminded me that um, bro, you know you know how you. Br- Get that fucking bottom to come off. You, you, you scrape it. it. Oh, really? You scrape so it in just... a cement, dog. And then the bottom of the milk crate, the, the plastic wears out, and you kick it out, bro. You nail it to a wall. I'm going to LeBron, LeBron James. That's a lot of fucking. <laughs> we made one, too, at our trailer park, okay? Up on the freaking telephone pole or whatever, freaking. And it was in front of a Broadway Forge or whatever, a car dealership, whatever. These guys came over. Five, six deep, man, colonizers, you know what I mean? Fucking Straight up told us, get that down, boy. I'm Damn. like, what, man? I'm like, it took us almost two, three hours to get that up there. We had 100 nails because that's all we <laughs> could do, you know what I mean? <laughs> Tape everything and then finally get it up and then they come up and you need to take that down. I'm like, what? You need to take that down. That's vandalism, blah, blah. We're going to call the cops. That's on our side of the property, blah, blah. Oh, my gosh, man. Broke our little hearts, you know what I mean? That's sad. You eh? took it down? We had to, man. Shit, they was threatening with the popo and everything, you know? <laughs> we were just little though. kids, you know? Man, Fuck, it was bullshit. If you, that's crazy basketball court. Basketball, a net with fucking 100 nails. Because if that ball is not a swoosh, it's going to flat the ball. <laughs> Pops the fucking ball. <laughs> to hold that shit up. Dude. Game Stitch over. <laughs> it was badass. I think we got one or two shots off on it before it fucking they came. Fucking colonizers, bro. Can't even play dirt basketball. <laughs> dirt ball. Dirt. Hell yeah. That's how it is on the Reds, man. We play. Do the Reds have little league 
baseball teams, like a little league games? It's the same as everything, you know, everywhere else and shit, yeah. I'm a city native, no doubt, but yeah, the res is rough, you know what I mean? Basketball courts, some of them don't have concrete, so yeah. Really? Res ball, you know what I mean? Just ball yeah, it out. Soccer ball and shit. Just, yeah, just do it. What's up, Rodrigo, man? Tell us about that, that Native American school by your house. It's still open? It's uh, Sherman Indian High School. It's been there since, I think, after World War II. Damn. Is that the school uh, that they made Natives learn be American? Like... It's pretty much uh, the uh, the standard uh, United States curriculum, but that that particular school they stay there all year and they stay there over the weekends. So, uh, so they then they co- then they come out during the weekends. Yeah. But I mean, they're all from all over the country. It's not just like California. So it's like a national school. It's in a it's a federal school. I think it's under the federal prog- program. Yeah, there you go. Oh a what? Shit. It's a boarding school. They stay there like oh, all so year. They're, they're bad natives. <laughs> no, I think they get in a, in a program where they, I guess it's a better school than where they're at. I thought one of those schools that indoctrinate your ass into being, a, being <laughs> no, American. No, that's back like, back in the Trail of Tears days. Like dude. Yellowstone or yeah, what's like your name? Bare yeah. feet. But this no. is only for, you your have to have like, Kevin. I want to say it's your like Kevin. even more than 75% blood uh, yeah. to go there. You have to be like a It's funny, man. I saw this hardcore TikTok vid- um, video today. And it's probably a native show somewhere, bro. It's called 1831. 1884. I don't know. That's a, well, the precursor to the to Yellowstone. Yeah. I don't know, man, but there's a there's this native girl, bro, and um, I guess she's arguing with a teacher, a nun. Oh right? yeah, that's 1884, a, a, right? A nun, right? And she goes, yeah. um, blah blah blah. I don't know what the fuck they're arguing, bro. Arguing about, but she's throwing in her native na- her native tongue at her, right? Like. Pretty much to like fuck off, you Catholic nun. Yeah. Mensa, right? So I don't know what she does, but she fucking um she starts you no know, she starts hitting the native girl, right? But then the native girl turns Fucks around up, and yeah. starts beating the fuck out of her, right? I saw that episode. So crazy. then they, they took her to the administration room and, and then there was a, a priest there. You know priests back then, they're fucking mean too, right? So he's telling her the native girl told him exactly what happened to the nun, and he told that nun to put her hands up. And then that fucking priest started start saying this this prayer. started saying this prayer with her, and she, her to follow it. And he kept hitting her hands over and over. And then the native girl started crying, bro, and said, "Stop hitting her." Yeah. Which, which in real life, that should never happen, dog. Cause she ends up. Killing, I would have grabbed. Her, I would have said, "Give me your stick. Let me hit her." Right? She <laughs> kills that nun and she kills that priest. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Why don't they go in there fresh? Oh shit! <laughs> you got spoiler alert here, right? <laughs> yeah, shit. Gotta watch it. I feel like George. I want to go in fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time, though. But that's 1831? No, that's another show. That's 1928. Yeah, yeah. So that's ah. that's not the precursor to Yellowstone. So many oh, that's a Chris, two prequels. But see, those are, yeah, but, damn years. but they're all like timepieces <laughs> from the pr- frontier America, dude. 1831 was the relocation. Okay, that's the 1831. The movie's called 1831. Yeah, because <laughs> right. yeah, it's a Netflix movie, that one. Yeah, all right. The one you're talking about. It's but not, the, it's but not. The, I saw that one on Paramount Plus, bro, too. Yeah, the comments yeah. are insane, bro. He goes... And on the bottom it says, he goes, that's the way it is, man. The oppressed always cares more about the oppressor. And everybody was going like this. And that reminded me of a, the, but see, that's the way they, that's just a movie, bro. They're just going to inflict that on us. Because that's like the old movie with John Wayne, where that Mexican gets shoot, shot, shoot, John Wayne's homie. True Grit. Yeah. He gets shot, what, 98 times? And they shoot John Wayne one time, and he goes, hey, boss. You are right. <laughs> he's like, a star. He, like, he cared more about he. He's supposed to die, bro. He worried about that motherfucker. Because if it wasn't for the guy that got shot once, I wouldn't even be in the movie. <laughs> oh, sh- oh, chaparral. But those John- oh, that actor's name is um, <laughs> Clifton Gonzalez or or Clifton Gonzalez or something like that. Cliff Collins or something like Clifton that. Clifton Collins. But those like John Wayne movies, those like weren't they called like spaghetti westerns because they would like get like. Uh, Italians to play natives. Well, but, they would shoot oh, it man. in Italy. But, but they were shot cheaper. in Italy, though. Oh, they were. Crazy. That's why they were called spaghetti westerns. Oh. But all that stuff is to arouse the uh, the emotions, dude, with the characters and everybody take a side and shit. He was my only son. There you go, dude. Now it's heightened. <laughs> so if you know westerns, so it's uh, it's more valuable to the. So what's up, bro? Ever since you won, I feel like you, you won were... something, but you just did it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he's a, he won the contest of life, dog. <laughs> yeah, he did, bro. Shit, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> I see your brother closer to you now. <laughs> he lives at my lawn life. now. <laughs> <laughs> he, I gave him my RV, eh? <laughs> a lot of thirsty aunties out there. Oh, fuck yeah. Shout out all the deadly aunties out there. You know what I mean? Hell That's yeah. what's up. Horny ass aunties. <laughs> He says horny ass at these shit. We're, so, we're talking about Diaz, right? We're oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Diaz are dirty, dude. Uh, <laughs> not my Diaz, but like other people's Diaz. Oh, one no no incest shit, dude. Leaving hickeys on necks. <laughs> oh, damn. Shit. Go mark me. Marks up. all over. What's up, bro? Do Native Americans are using pronouns too? I have no freaking idea, man. Le he she, he yeah. how. On reservation dogs, they he are. how. You know what I mean? My uh, nephew it's was it's and kids, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it's. Well, kids, like he said, but yeah. Who's that? That's um, sleeping with buffaloes. Yeah, you call me dog. That's it. That's funny, man. You ever heard of this comedian name? Shut up. Uh, look up the comedian name. Um, Greg Von Eagle Bear. He's like the dead. He's like the Mitch Hedberg of the native comedians. So I was doing that. I was doing. So I was getting back to it. I don't know how I got uh, sidetracked. But I have a history, a, uh, a podcast called History for Fools. And we did a little segment on Native Americans comedians and the book is called um we had a real estate problem hilarious yeah so um <laughs> a big one so oh, greg man. von eagle beer he goes um he has a joke where he says bro it's so funny man he goes he goes what, what do native call midgets he goes um mini ha ha's <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes um then he goes, he goes what do you call what, what do they call um, oh man I, I'm, I'm murdering you can't find it yeah uh, you're putting his jokes on uh on, on the way to i think modesto yeah play it play it play it real fast it's hilarious bro if you're you gotta hook up with this guy bro find him somewhere <laughs> you heard of mitch hepberg Stephen wright well, you heard of me, right? So oh, hell yeah. His, guy, his, his style is more deadpan than me, bro. Like, the song John Wayne's Teeth. Not him. The guy who's next. That's Charlie Hill. Come on. All right, let's do it. Hey, hey. <laughs> my dad's a Rosebud Sioux from South Dakota, and my mom's a Colville from Huckleberry Lips. Choke Cherry Eyes. Skinny flat. Can't see it. <laughs> Fry bread thighs. <laughs> there he is. Way ah hey ah hey ah. Way ah hey ah hey. Way ah hey 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 ah. Way ah hey ah way we oh ho. Way we oh ho. Wait, we oh ho. Way ah hey 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 ah. Wait, we oh ho. Who can take some fry bread? Sprinkle it with sugar. Cover it in honey and some huckleberry jam. The fry bread man can. He's stupid, dog. The fry bread man can. The fry bread man can, cause he likes to eat his fry bread with potatoes and spam. <laughs> <laughs> I locked my coat hanger in the car. <laughs> 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 It's a good thing I got my keys. <laughs> <laughs> Back home on the reservation, I used to work as a waiter in a restaurant, greeting people at the front door, asking them if they had reservations. <laughs> <laughs> we had a really bad wildfire this past summer on the res, and it burned down like 20 houses and 250 broken down cars. <laughs> 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 But we managed to save all the beer coolers. <laughs> Fucking age. <laughs> Three Indians walked out of a bar sober. This one I heard. <laughs> it could happen. Yeah, it could happen. 
<laughs> it could happen. <laughs> A salad bar. <laughs> He's dead pan. Indian huh? people call laughing midgets mini ha ha's. <laughs> mini ha ha has a promiscuous little sister. Mini ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> And a gay cousin, Mini Hey! <laughs> <laughs> right, cool, fella. That was hilarious, dude. That's what's up. He goes, um. <laughs> he goes, um. He goes, um. I was donating blood the other day. And the, uh, the lady asked me if I 100% native. And I said, not anymore. <laughs> He goes, what's the rest of you? Cookies and orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, fool? You heard of that guy? Yeah, I, we were listening to him on the way to uh, Modesto. I hope he's still touring, man. Greg I, Von Eagle Bear. Super funny. I, I, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. That's do, you, do you guys, Um, I mean, you uh, personally, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? I We eat and stuff, you know, with the family and stuff. We don't really. It, it's something we've always done, you know what I mean? But yeah, I did it. I believe everybody does, you know what I mean? I but we just we bitch about it. But but we yeah. don't think about the I don't think I don't think about the fucking We don't the, celebrate, just, you know, all family of that. Time, yeah, know? it's yeah. basically family time and gi just giving thanks for that, you know what I mean? We we don't do it for You still call it Thanksgiving though. I guess, you know what yeah, I mean? Just because everybody says it is, you know what I mean? One, yeah, once just, a year eating turkey. Exactly. Come together, eat turkey. We don't even eat just turkey sometimes. We mix it up with, you I, know, tamales all that oh, shit, shit too. Cuz my brother uh, he finished 15 Chick units in, in, in East LA College and calls it the Great Harvest Day. <laughs> I used to I used to date a, I used to date like a super hardcore like a uh, super like uh, Mexican indigenous girl and she Roma? she hated fucking like Thanksgiving dude like like oh yeah like like it, like it was not even like you can't bring it up you know that's crazy yeah, yeah. I'm fucking down to eat anytime you know what I mean <laughs> shit, yeah. that's what I'm talking about hell yeah harvest or no harvest <laughs> shit yeah the good I used harvest. to get mad with there was no turkey dude what are you doing man you wanna be that different <laughs> there better be smoked ham eh? yeah hey, spiral that shit you guys do it big now for Thanksgiving yeah like I said we throw everything in there tacos Tamales, turkey, turkey tacos, bro. all day. You know what I mean. Everything we have the regular stuff, and then we have you know exotic foods. I guess you want to say it, <laughs> the regular stuff. But hell yeah! <laughs> I just I was just trying to picture how fat I'll be right now, bro. Because I'm thinking like you know like if somebody doesn't eat fry bread all the time. I might overdo it that day if I was at a native's house, and I'd be like, you know what, bro? Has anybody here thought about making a, a quesadilla fry bread with turkey? Because that's what I'm going to make right now. Ooh. Fry bread like, dangerously good. You get man. plugged, dude. What's up with the, the newer natives calling it dye bread? I never heard that shit. Yeah, there's a, I, I went through this. Well, I, I go to a lot of rabbit holes, bro. <laughs> what about <laughs> that? Like, I was watching this native person, and was it she or he? It was a she. No, I'm not saying like she, he, like that person's gay or he's head or, or he's not gay. It was a woman or a man. And um, they were talking about how. Um, Fry bread is like it's it's dye bread. Like fry bread is what gives um most Native Americans mm. diabetes diabetes and that they're overweight because it's it's some natives they put that like one hundred percent of their diet like we do for tortillas where yeah. in the morning tortilla con huevos in the afternoon tortilla with our beans and then and then at night time more tortillas with right butter, mm -hmm. yeah. and they say when they were doing the trail of tears he said that. Fry bread is what the is what they what they, what they could do with whatever, whatever um the the Mer the, the American soldiers gave them, which was flour and what else? Well, let, what, what we're gonna do with this flour? So they made fry bread, bro. But they said that like, they were not really eating fry bread before they were given that, that shit. Why well, don't you know? What do you think, bro? I love me some fucking fry, fry bread. Fry bread, good. Hell dog. yeah, Bomb. Hell yeah. But, but yeah, like you said, every day. Some of them, some of the natives go, go go hard like that too. Like you said, 
with the with the tortillas and stuff, you know. Exactly. Well, I think if you go too hardcore with anything, you're gonna end up with a purple foot. Oh yeah, well, fried bread just yeah. straight up cooked, straight up fried. You know, I mean, oh, the, the, the way Greasy. I fell the way I fell yeah. into a rabbit hole of fried bread because there was um there was these hardcore um, black Israelite African Americans, and they were saying that nah man, soul food is dead food. So soul food is what the white man gave you, the grits, the bottom of the shelf, all that greasy shit. That's, what, that's what's killing us every day. Fried chicken. Because that, that's their mm-hmm. their argument, you know, that their their food is mainly oil because that, yeah. that's all they were given, you know. Yeah. So it's like basically kind of like a similarities right there. I'm trying to figure out what makes Mexicans fat. Like who's stopping us from eating something, bro? American, fat. American yeah. Fast That's food. why you see fi- fat ass people in Mexico now, because all the fast food places. Yeah, dude. They don't even have like they don't even make their own eggs in the ranches anymore, dude. They're imported. Same thing with tortillas. Hot Cheeto. I love me some eggs, bro. Mm. Hot Cheeto. When I when I was not eating um, vegan, mm. like I, today I was hungry, bro. Like around three, three or four, <laughs> and I was thinking, man, man, the witchy hour, dude. <laughs> I could fuck up some um, f- three fried eggs right now over easy with some beans and. Four flour tortillas Queso right fresco. now. Mm, oh, Silver, bro. Not three, bro. Four. Fucking eight. <laughs> the first one will be gone just breaking two egg, one egg. egg. <laughs> the the second one, bro, the second egg. Okay. The third one, boom. And the last tortilla to fucking clean the whole plate. If you do that yeah. a couple times a week, yeah. say you do that three times a week and you move around, you'd be all right. But the thing do is, every day. if you just sit on the couch and you don't fucking move and you just yeah. yell at your mom, you're going to die, bro. Because I was thinking, oh, yeah. bro, like if the native were eating fried bread in the beginning... It, Bro, they were with him battle, bro. They were they were burning that shit off. That's what I'm wow. saying. Oh, yeah. Right now we don't burn shit off. We just sit there. Now you got natives inside their homes fucking getting high, eating fried bread, and watching forensic files all day. Complaining, <laughs> watching the game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like I said, the reserves, some of some of them we ain't got shit to do. You know, nothing. I know. Nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing. Nada. Yeah, like you said, just and that's where it happened at. Yeah, that little that little generation of just sitting there all. There's that's no more weird. nothing. Well, it's just just wait. They put us at you know what I mean. It's just dead land sometimes. Yeah, you know, man. It's just fucked up. Like right when, we, that, when we go to New Mexico to do a show in the casinos, and they got fry bread there, bro. Oh <laughs> man, the smell so Ooh. good, dude. They got fry bread with cinnamon and butter and oh. sugar, and they got fry bread uh, with just beans and rice. No beans, just beans and cheese. So good. And they got the fry bread burrito, bro, which is that um the the why people taco meat. Which is yeah. still good, still good. I'm gonna hate on that. And, and they put it all yeah. over, bro, with sour cream. Oh my god! Hell McDonald's, yeah. we know what you're doing out there with a the gordita. That's a fry bread. Don't try to lie to us. Taco Bell. <laughs> Sorry about that. Taco Bell. <laughs> that yeah, Taco Bell. I think Del Taco bread. had yeah, a little fried chalupa. bread thing yeah. for a while too. A little jalupa. The chalupa. The chalupa. Yeah, the chalupa. Or whatever. That's like a little yeah. fried bread. Yeah. It's a little yeah. fried yeah. bread. And you okay. can you can taste that shit right away. The chalupa oh, yeah. has the, the the same amount of oil. That's a regular fry bread. You take a knee after you eat one of those, bro. So good, oh, dude. Fuck. Yo quiero Taco Bell, homie. I got you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you when you want to like at, at Thanksgiving, man, like after you do when you do your Thanksgiving thing, what does dog face do to relax when you're by yourself and you're gonna chill? I blaze, you know what I mean. Always twenty four seven. Long as long as I'm good and blazed, I could just sit back and watch TV. You know what I mean chill with the lady or whatever or chill with the kids you know but yeah just basically just relax and enjoy life you know what i mean fuck yeah dude and always do it on cloud nine that's what i always do it on cloud nine (laughs) always blitzed what's your favorite football team redskins oh i can't say redskins Uh, (laughs) the guardians bro (laughs) no those are those are the commanders or yeah Yeah, the commanders but i only i only watch football or fuck with football or sports anything only when i'm betting on it you know what i mean i used to be a diehard Sports fan and all that way before the pandemic and everything. And when everything came out with that, I don't know what the fuck happened with sports and everything. It just went crazy. It's a, it, it, me too, bro. You're, you're not lying there. Because when, when, when the Dodgers won that World Series, I, I felt like I, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Dodger fan, but I, was, I felt like I was in a part of that winning. Because they, they, they were all in Zoom, right? The oh, audience was in the Zoom. bubble, dude. They were in a bubble, you know? Oh, it was like, yeah, it was like fake uh, audience. <laughs> The that cutouts, shit is so yeah. crazy, dude. It was yeah. like Home Alone in real life. Yeah, you couldn't go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're all playing the same stadium too. They put me in the cutout. In, oh yeah, oh yeah. Pandemic. Fucking yeah. TikTok. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can buy your little cutout, right? Oh man, you guys, sure. the, you guys watch the Dodgers lose to Arizona last last um, Saturday, and, and then again on Monday. Might be happening right now, bro. Yeah. Oh man, the Dodgers lost so bad, bro. 
I think I saw Kershaw on the way to the Peacock Theater, bro. <laughs> He gave up. He gave up, bro. I was driving home from the when I when I was because that game started at six. My show was at eight, and we were driving to the gate to my show. I think I saw Kershaw in a fucking freeway, bro. In the, in the game was very in the fifth inning. They had a week off, bro. They weren't. They were too cold, man. I have the final score for tonight: yeah, four two Arizona. There you go. Mm. Fucking shit, dude. But that's it. That shit ruined my day. Damn it, dude. <laughs> And they already had that face too, bro. Son of a bitch. next year, bro. Son of a bitch. <laughs> the Dodgers lost four to two, bro. What's the point? I knew they lost, bro, because on the way to the podcast, I saw Chris trying the freeway, bro. <laughs> <laughs> even and even the 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 second game, the the pitchers that opened the the game, they didn't have the they didn't have that experience, dude. But whatever, man. So it's, it's all Robert's fault, man. He's just doing what the, the what the front office says, man. <laughs> He's a company man, bro. All right, there it is, bro. You could cut that clip when I said about Kershaw. <laughs> <laughs> On that point. Right. <laughs> What's up, bro? How long your little brother been your little brother, bro? <laughs> How E-fool. old are you? Four, 35? 36. Who? 36. Damn. Yeah. Damn, Fuck so man. you guys are like 17 years apart, huh? Shit. This <laughs> baby boy over years, there, bro. I'm 40. Oh shit! Okay. Hell yeah! <laughs> birthday month this month. Oh shit! How are you? Yeah. You're forty. That's yeah, good, I'll bro. I'll be forty-one in a couple couple days, something like that. Twenty-fourth. You're a millennial, bro. Your brother hates traveling, huh? All that stuff. Huh? A lot of my family don't like traveling with me when it's with this stuff. You know what I mean? And it, I mean, it wears on you, yeah. But you know far, what? That's, bro. That's what pays the bills. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, you, you, know, you get tired of it? No, I right? Fucking hell no! You know what I mean? Hell no! Me too, yeah. bro. I don't get I don't get tired of traveling. But I noticed that, like, a person that doesn't travel a lot or doesn't hang out a lot late can't hang. I mean, we were in uh, Spokane, and there's, there was this couple, big fans. They, they, dro- they took us cruising a while back, and we were invited. He, he goes, they, were a sh- they were at the show. He goes, you guys want to get a drink or smoke? He goes, sure. And the show's already over, bro. Man, they said, man, we have a two-hour drive, man. I, we we never do this, man. We have our dogs waiting for us. <laughs> and he goes, man, man, nobody put a gun to your head, eh? They're all slumped in the front seat, all they're all tired, <laughs> dude. Also, dudes that we meet, fans that want to hang out, or um, I took I brought, I took, I brought my nephew <laughs> with us. He never he, he goes out of town a lot, but not like this. And we did we do two one nighters, bro. We went to Corpus, and we you know we went to Modest. We went to Midland, Texas. And then the next day, went to Modesto, bro. We're like, you know how it is, bro. You get to the hotel at midnight, no. and they tell you, we're going to leave at 5 in the morning. But you never get to the room at midnight. You get there at 1. You, you still got to go eat. Yeah, yeah. You got to yeah. go enjoy the night. You got to yeah. say, yeah, bro, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take their weed. Victory man, meal, me an bro. Hour to go to bed after that. I'm going to force myself to go to sleep. Isn't it sad sometimes when they give you all this weed and then you can't really take it with you because you gotta fly? Isn't that the heartbreaking? It is. And then I seen this one lady on Instagram. She shows what she does with it and she flushes it down the toilet. I was like, hell no, that's even worse, man. That's a crime, bro. I go and hand it out to people. You know what I mean, bro? Do a little uh, bury it and then like show people. Well, you you guys been the weed. Well, you guys been the weed fairy, bro? (laughs) He'll leave like a a fat ass, fat ass half a joint. And then he'll let people t- let somebody know from the podcast there's some fresh Louis right there. Hell yeah. Then those fools pick it up. Hell yeah. I'm just handing it off to them the personally. Bro. You know what I mean? It's usually <laughs> a big bag or I just spread it around. But yeah, mm. definitely That's cool, bro. I have to I have to give it away. Have you been to the airport where they tell you um that little box that tell you to donate it? Yeah, there, there's oh, a I couple. I didn't see that. That's a Seattle. Box. That's an amnesty box. That's yeah, crazy. on the way in, bro, you can put it in there. <laughs> That's what's up. I'm a sovereign citizen, bro. This TSA <laughs> wants to party, too. It, it's, basically, right. yeah. it's basically... Exactly what it is, dude. It's basically like the Salvation Army uh, donation box, but for like weed, dude. Fucking That's it. it is, yeah. Have you ever been to a, any place where you travel where there's no weed? Oh, man. I went to Florida when there's... Because it's not... It wasn't legal or whatever. Oh, man. I go live. I have to go live sometimes when it's like that. When I go to non-green states... And I'll go live and I'll be like, hey, everybody, I'm over here. You guys want to say what's up? Come bring me some flour if you got it, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's crazy. I have people pull up, honk their horn. Hey, get in. I'm like, all right, let's go. In Florida? In Florida. And I went around, got my, you know, good, my flour and took a picture and 
<laughs> dropped me off in the corner and that was it. You know what I mean? That's but yeah, smart. a couple people came up too and here's another joint, you know, here's this. I'm like, it's like three yeah. days later, huh? you're all scratching. Nobody called, huh? Oh man. Fuck, hating I, it, bro. Oh, you, I can't even say it. Yeah. Cause when I go to like Texas too, when I went to Texas, oh my gosh. Hating like, you know, especially if I don't have nothing or no, oh, or no or nobody. Yeah, yeah. Or there's no, no connect. plug, no nothing. Yeah, but there's always. Feel abandoned. Have you been dude. to um, Corpus Christi, Texas? No. Or when you go there, go to a place called S- Smokeville. And they, they have it, bro. They have. They'll um, hook it up, dude. They, hook yeah, it. Yeah. they have CBD and they have a bunch of, bunch of um, water bongs. And they have, they have, um, they have that Delta 9, whatever that's just called. Oh, yeah. The new shit. It's all legal yeah. in Texas. Delta Marian, bro. Mm-hmm. So what's up? Uh, I know the Dodgers lost four to two, but um, the the um, Mar- the um, legal marijuana passed in Ohio. Anybody know? I don't know. They were I usually, I usually get Texas when this shit happens like that. I didn't hear nothing. I know, man. Like usually, when a when a new state opens up for f- m- recreation marijuana, you know you're gonna be traveling to that state. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Go out and get me my own strain out there. Do you have your own strain? I do. What's now. it called? Do you have the bag? It is it called is Dog Face Strain. Straight out from me. I picked it with laughing gas. Uh, Joe the laughing Diaz. gas bag. You didn't bring it. It was right there. He moved it. I mean, oh, there it's oh, it is. Yeah, oh, shout out Joey yeah. Diaz, the comedian, you know. Oh, that's right. This is Joe Diaz. Yeah, that's I don't even brand. know his face. Yeah, just right, right now. <laughs> Little pest control cocksucker. Oh, okay. That's right, cocksuckers. <laughs> it's talking about the hee hees <laughs> and yeah, the yeah. ha ha with the laughing gas. That's Dog face here. Damn, dude. <laughs> You're right. He's just a better Joe Diaz. Do him, bro. You know what I'm saying, cocksucker? We're live with dog face all the way back from who the fuck knows where. Live over here with pineapples and fucking apples. Get and it. the best weed that you can get here. We got a fucking joint like Pineapple Express. It's a cross because you know we stand with fucking Israel. Yeah. Victory to the victors. Hell yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, like I said, it's dope because Whoa. it's got my face oh, on it. Yeah, just bro. like he has his. Oh, you know? shit. It does have your face. It's got my feather. It's got my little... Native whiskers right here. So <laughs> said native yeah, it whiskers. is, bro. Natives don't have, have whiskers, bro. Oh, I've been growing this since birth. This is I know, as man. As far as it'll go. There's like three of them. But my mustache, straight up. Rasa. I cut that. It grow two days. Two days, bro. Like a vampire. A couple of days. What are we do in the shadows? What is your <laughs> yeah. uh, Instagram and TikTok? My That's Instagram, it. dogface208. And my TikTok is 420, dogface208. I remember the fart. Hey, man. Yeah. How many uh, fake dog faces came out after you blew up? You can't even tag me on uh, Instagram no more. There's too <laughs> so many. So many? Really? Yeah. And, and, like, everybody's like, I tried tagging you on this. Mean imposters, huh? I'm like, dude. I'm like, fuck. And you have to tag. You have to write it exactly like it's spelled. And then it's oh, the only blue annoying, mark. Dude. You know I, what I mean? I like when people were, were um, doing duo, duets with you. But I didn't like when people that really were influencers trying to do their own and shit. Bitch, get out of here. You know who you are, blonde lady. Leo Pom Pom, whatever her name is. <laughs> Trying to catch her on the fucking... Oh, her Leo Pom Pom. What happened to her, bro? She was big on Instagram and Vine. You know who that is, right? Who's that? Leo Pom She's like a Latina white girl. Leo we have time Pompon. to look for her. Yeah, bro. your phone will break. Yeah. That's a big phone. You, were, you carry a tablet? It's a S22, dude. It's just the case It's big. That's why. Oh, yeah. You carry a tablet? What we got? What we got? What we got? Vinny? Oh, yeah. And then I got... A new uh, CBD line out. Oh, let me see. I got this for you. It's some taco seasoning, but it's got CBD Whoa. in it. We Why got cran people raspberry taco. deep CBDs, you know what I mean? Cran oh, apple flavored yeah, as well. Oh, but there's my God. a crazy lineup. We got Burn hot sauce. Meat. We got freaking brubs, you know what I mean? Ooh. We got the whole lineup. Dogfacecbd.com. Oh. Well, this white lady said the Mexican smell like, bro, cumin. Oh my God! What the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> cool man. Cool. Dogface yeah. CBD, dude, right here. Right. Dogfacecbd.com. And the challenge chef told Lisa as far as that Mexican smell like cool man. <laughs> and raspberry CBD gummy. Oh shit, dude. Yeah. Hey, bro, you growing up? It was, you grew up in a reservation, like high school, junior high school, all that. No, I grew up in freaking Idaho. Like I said, I'm a city native again. I did go to the res off and on, always, you know, freaking visit my family and whatnot. And did not graduate. Got my GED because of freaking drug court. 
I was forced to get it. You know what I mean? Job yeah. corps, dude. Not job corps, drug corps. Oh, I heard job corps. <laughs> Damn, dude. I had cousins that went there, dude. Let's yeah. get this full of fucking Q tip. <laughs> Let me put this closer. But yeah. <laughs> How did yeah, your dad yeah. make it out there to Idaho, bro? Like that's what I'm saying. I don't know because my dad, papas. he's he's freaking a generation. Yeah, papas, no doubt. Yeah, he's a generation. I, don't, I think we're from Chihuahua. You know, my grandma, I think. Far behind her, she can't, you know, and that's when they can't. Oh, go. so they were already out yeah. in Idaho for like yeah. a couple decades at yeah, least. Yeah, my, my dad's a family's five hours this way. My mom's fi- family's five hours that way. And we were just like stuck in the middle in Idaho. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Shit, yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Where am I? Go to do yeah, you want to yeah. say uh, mm. thank you everybody who showed up to Modesto, California, man? Super fun. It oh, was yeah. super fun. We, we didn't go to Yosemite Lanes. We drove back early with Saul Trujillo. Also, Saul Trujillo has a show tonight, I think. Right? October 12th. When is October 12th? Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. So, um, if you Thursday. guys want to go watch Saul Trujillo, um, it's very important you guys show up. Um, I don't know if he's giving away free tickets, but hit him up on his Instagram. Running Saul Trujillo. He's gonna do a show in the ballet room October next thir- this Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. It'll be the day this airs. So right now, man, October if you're watching 12. this. <laughs> October twelfth at the comedy store, the belly room, he's running his hour. Saul Trujillo. And he needs all the support he can get because there's some executives. There's some executives there. Executive, and also bro. too, shout out to Burner's uh, Merced. We went over there and they Oh yeah, Burner Merced. Dispensary dude, the fucking hook. Oh up. shit, Thank dude. You so there he is right there, hey Joey. That's how old, bro. <laughs> is that his AI picture? Yeah, bro. Here's yeah. a pet boo from here, huh? I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm all screwed. <laughs> like he's from Idaho, bro. <laughs> Sick ass mole, bro. <laughs> mean ass vest. Can I, uh, can I also promote uh, Saturday? I'm going to be performing with uh, Paul Rodriguez. Chicanos of Comedy, um, October 14th, right? Chicano Comedy Fest at the Pico Rivera Sports Arena, Saturday night, 8 p.m. Get your tickets, guys. Go on my Instagram and uh, there you go. That there, that's the flyer. Big show. Big show Heck with yeah. IEM friends and a whole bunch of people, man. Come on, guys. You know, badass show. Also, man, we ran into Paul Rodriguez at the at the. I don't know if you have that photo of me and Paul Rodriguez. Put that up. We ran into Paul Rodriguez at the Modesto. He was, he was performing at the State Theater with Luz Paso and Rudy Rudy Lowrider guy. And Danny Cruising. Uh, Danny Cruising. Right? My bad. And um, he was staying at the same hotel room, bro. And that fool, we said, Paul Rodriguez. He goes, what? Paul Rodriguez, what? And that fool ended up smoking out with us, bro. Hell yeah. Like, he smoked hard. That's what's and funny. he was telling us about his future endeavors and all kinds of shit, uh, the movie idea he has. Because we thought about this crazy-ass movie, bro. It's th- you know how they have um, Looper and Groundhog Day? Yeah. About a, 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 a salop Mexican dude that every time he goes to sleep in L.A., he wakes up in TJ, bro. <laughs> That's a good idea, dude. <laughs> that. Like no matter what, bro. Whenever, I don't know how, every time he makes it back to LA, like I can't believe it, I'm not here again. He wakes up in TJ again. <laughs> Somebody gonna steal this idea, bro. Please steal it. If you steal it, put me in it. <laughs> if you steal it, just put me in it. He says. <laughs> See we aquí no más. So October what, bro? October 14th at the Pico Rivera Sports Arena, Chicano Comedy Fest. Saturday. Come on out. <laughs> this Saturday night is me, badass dude. You don't want to miss out. And there's a whole bunch of uh, food vendors right there. There it is. Paul Rodriguez. Oh, shit, dude. What I lay. Hell yeah. That's right, man. Last last year, Paul Rodriguez fucking killed it. Remember? And he started taking shots from the crowd. People had bottles. He went like, out to the Damn. crowd. He went out to the crowd and people... Uh, and people were giving him like bottles of tequila. He was drink people's the bottles that he drank were uh, bottles that people snuck in. So funny, dude. <laughs> so you might do that again this year, dude. I think he's back yeah. to life, bro. Fuck oh, yeah, yeah, bro. Dude. Fucking he's having a good time. He's a bamboo and hard, ready to rock. <laughs> Got a new liver. He's ready, dude. A new driver, <laughs> everything, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this will set a baboon. He does have a baboon heart. Made out <laughs> of fucking P Rod on skateboard. Anything you want to plug, bro? Um, shit, man, I always fucking stumble when this happens. DogfaceCBD.com. Yeah. DogfaceCBD.com. Everybody, dog go get a uh, beatbox cranberry dreams. Everybody, we got that out in California, everywhere. It's a uh, wine drink, but yeah, it's bomb. Like I said, put you out your point. Beatbox mm. cranberry dreams. Go get it. Fuck and also, man, don't, oh, get, yeah. don't forget the laughing gas. Yeah, cross joint. 
Everybody laughing gas the cross joint. You guys can get it at Dr. Green Thumbs LAX Care Company and Jokes Up. Jokes Up. Jokes yes, Up. Yes, yes. Right here now. Also, hey. man, here's my dates. I'm coming to Austin in December. The mothership. Tickets are really go on sale. They're going fast. There you go. You, you got the old school What's Up Food what podcast. I, said. I, I just want to say shout out. Thank you, bro. Yeah. You were that shit, man. I got this from and, him and a long time ago, 2020, like I said, and I just got to get a sign yeah, from him and everybody here as well. Not bro. a stain yeah. on it, bro. Not even a cranberry <laughs> on it. I did a video with it. I don't know if you in saw it. In Vegas. The one you did in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. yeah. I, that one was Be, so the day majestic, before you. Yeah, the, the one you came before LA, dude. Yeah. That's fucking. So did you get in trouble for skateboarding? They, they, I'm the only one that's ever skated inside really? of Caesar's Palace yeah. with permission. Yeah. And it was cool because they had security come running, but then I had the head security come yeah. running after them. Oh, They're hilarious. like, get away, get away, leave them alone. I was like, yo, boom. Yeah. <laughs> shout out, shout out, Caesar's Palace. Man. Caesar's what's Palace, up. what's up, fool? Yeah. We have a new um yeah. shirt, sweater for you too. Oh hell yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Updated. What's up, fool? What's up? What's up?